Alright guys, there's a snake right here. Eastern Ribbon Snake, or Thamnophis Sortis. It's the first one I've seen this year, and she's getting ready to... Oh, pretty whippy little snakes. Oh, and she's trying to bite. Oh, she's getting aggressive. Most of the time, Ribbon Snakes aren't aggressive like this. So this is... Alright guys, I uh, just caught an eastern ribbon snake here. As I said, Thamnophis sortis. Um, the lighting's pretty dappled here, so it's not the best. But, um, see if I can get some good shots of her for you. This snake right here is uh, mainly aquatic and spending most of its time around bodies of water, like this behind me. This is actually a river. And, um, ribbon snakes are very close relative to garter snakes in the same family. Thamnophis, and uh, I forget exactly what it means. Thamnophis, Ophis means snake or something. So, but uh, yeah, this is actually a pretty large one. I've never seen one this big around here. Um, most of the time, I find males, and they're usually a little smaller than females. So this is a pretty big specimen. I, I bet you she'll probably give birth this year, which is known in. Uh, this group that they do give birth like water snakes and venomous snakes um, anyways these snakes feed mainly on um, the fish and minnows that can be found around here but uh, also I believe they may be insectivorous which is um, causing them to decline in North Carolina it's believed that they do and that's due to the pesticides that are used in uh, agriculture so these along with rough green snakes are um, thought to be in jeopardy I mean they're still pretty common but in some areas um, this is actually the first one I've seen in a while so it's pretty exciting find uh, I'm in an area where I've seen uh, red belly water snakes which I actually found one earlier uh, pretty big female and I uh, found my rainbow snake here last year so there is some snakes out here. And most of the time they aren't very aggressive, but this one is actually really bitey at first from what you saw. So it's pretty different behaviors. It's out. They're very beautiful. They have a, uh, a brownish black colored uh, dorsum with black edges along the cream colored stripes down the back. Which differs from garter snakes because garter snakes have more of a checkered pattern and less striping. And also garter snakes tend to have a uh, spotted venter. But these guys have a uh, pretty light colored venter and it has a pinkish hue along the edges. A cream yellow color in the center. Very attractive snakes. And uh, also, eastern garter snakes have black markings on the lip scales while these guys have plain lips. And there's also a little small white spot in front of the, I think it's the preoculars. Very neat snakes. Definitely gonna get some photos of this girl. She's gorgeous. And um, they have like a greenish hue on their head. It's very neat colored snakes. But yeah, they uh, spend most of their time foraging around in this grass behind me. Um, it's a very unfortunately there are a lot of houses around here but this one little area has a, some trees left over it's a little park and uh, so there's a little concentration of snakes here it's pretty cool Too bad. this bold striping actually acts as a very good camouflage and um, that the undulations that the snake makes um, breaks up its pattern and in the grass and stuff they're nearly impossible to see so you gotta be pretty quick to catch them they're pretty uh, sly snakes, a miniature racer almost very neat alright guys I'm letting the ribbon snake go as soon as it touches that grass you will not see it Oh. Gone. Would never you know she's there. 
Beautiful. Spring is sprung.